How strong is this 3D printed plastic part? Let's hang over a thousand pounds from it and find out. I wanna push this part to its absolute breaking point. So the next logical step is to take all this, set it up, lift all this weight, and see if we can break that part. So we know our pallet, our straps, and our D-ring all weigh 200 pounds. Then we added 300 pounds of weights on top of that to equal 500 pounds. Let's lift it and see if our part holds up. Going up. Do you want me to do a little talking right here? You want me to do a little talking right here? Nobody wants to listen to you talk. All right, so we lifted 500 pounds of total weight with our precision tensile strength testing setup. It's a forklift, dude. But it's a precision forklift, man. All right, Chris, we need 1,000 pounds. What is that, a 20? It's a 10. Oh my God. Every pound counts. All right, Chris, add all this stuff up. All right, we got 45, 75. Wait, 1,000 yet? 100, 200, plus 160. But I put that 10 on there too. Dude, you know what they say, don't do math in public. <laughs> don't do math in public. There we have it, 1,000 pounds. We got 800 on the pallet in weights plus 200 pounds for the pallet, the straps, and the D-ring. 1,000 pounds, Chris, lift it. Let's go. Like it's nothing, 1,000 pounds right there. That's a 3D printed plastic part and it's holding over 1,000 pounds of weight. That part was made on a desktop 3D printer. That's pretty impressive right there. Now our 3D printed part weighs about a 10th of a pound. That's 0.1 pounds, but it's holding a thousand pounds. Now, if we do the math, that gives our part a strength to weight ratio of 10,000 to one. Now, what that means is for every one of our 3D printed parts, we could in theory put 10,000 of them on this pallet and it would still hold and not break. I wanna interrupt the strength test to show you guys exactly what it is that makes our part so strong but don't click away because it's pretty cool. So here I got our part pulled up in Iger, and if I go into our x-ray view, you can see all these blue lines that make up the inside of our part. These blue lines actually represent continuous carbon fiber reinforcement within the inside of our part. So the whole outer shell is gonna be onyx, but then on the inside, we can use our Iger slicing software to route carbon fiber through our part to reinforce its strength. So carbon fiber is actually strong in tension. What that means is the way this fiber is routed, if we try to rip this apart in this axis, it's gonna be very, very hard to do. But if we were to flip it and try to pull it apart this way, it wouldn't be as strong because that's more of a flexural strength based on how our fiber is routed. That would be going across the fiber as opposed to going with the fiber this way. Now, another thing to know is the print orientation. So we go back into our 3D view, you'll notice that this part was printed horizontally like this. Now this is the FDM printing process, so that means that it's gonna be printing this part layer by layer, building it up as it goes. So if we were to stand this part up, it would print it layer by layer this way. Then if we hung weight from it, even if it's reinforced with carbon fiber, it could still fail between the layers. <laughs> Essentially it would peel those layers apart and our carbon fiber would do nothing. So if we hop into simulation, you can see that over here we added an anchor point. That's where our part is gonna clip onto our crane scale. Then over here, we have our load surface. So I applied 4,450 newtons of load to that surface where our weight's gonna be hanging from, which comes out to 1,000 pounds of force. And then you can see that after we ran the simulation, it gave us 0.43 millimeters of deflection with a minimum factor of safety of 1.52. What that means is we've got 1,000 pounds of force with a factor of safety of 1.52, which means in theory, our part should be able to hold at minimum 
1,520 pounds of weight. You won't lift it, Chris. I'm not gonna lift it. Whoa. What are you guys doing? Do We're testing out your hook, dude. You wanna put it to the test? Absolutely. Dude, let me get on. You ready, Chris? Uh, sure. I just gotta say, this can't fall again. My ribs actually still do hurt from are you, are you the nervous? last time I was under one of these. So I weigh 220 pounds. How much my weight multiplies with like lateral force? I came in like a rat. <laughs> I hope it's gonna hold. We're about 1,150 pounds, roughly. Does that thing go higher? Oh. Uh, I don't know. The I must be there. We go. <laughs> we're off. We're off. Look at that. I saw that. Like you see that? You, you distribute the weight. Oh, don't get carried away. <laughs> So we're 1,105 pounds right now. That's pretty good for a 3D printed plastic part, I must say. Yeah. I am impressed. Come here and jump on. Do it. You'd be crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh dude. Get on. Oh my lord. 589. 589. What is it? 200, right? Probably, yeah, another 200, yeah. Come on, Chris. That's, yeah. that's like 1,500. That's the, dude. Are you right, calling so me fat? The threshold? 1500 is it? We're at 1300 right now. If he gets how on, much, how much you weigh? About 190. Get ready. Bend your knees. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, impressive. Man. I bet you this still couldn't hold the weight of all Barry's scrap parts. Go, go, go. Oh! <laughs> the freaking part's good. Look at this. The pallet broke before the part. That is awesome. The part survived that, but the pallet did not. But I'm not happy with that. I wanna push this part to its absolute breaking point. So the next logical step is to take all this over here, set it up, lift all this weight, and see if we can break that part. Hell yeah. So we got 1,250 pounds of weight on this pallet. But we actually don't know what the pallet weighs because I didn't expect to use this pallet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift all this weight, including the pallet, see how much it weighs, and then we'll add our additional weight until our part breaks. Hit it, Chris. So 617.6 kilograms. All right, so everything combined, the weights and the pallet, we got 1,361 pounds hanging from our 3D printed part. Now, I've got an extra 360 pounds in weight over here, which gets me to 1,720 pounds roughly. We know our part is supposed to fail at 1,500 pounds, so let's see if it holds more than that. Still good. We're over the threshold. It's holding more than we expected. I'm afraid we're gonna run out of weight. All right, let's add a 50. <laughs> I don't wanna add weight to the middle because it's bowing. Still good. I only have 30 pounds left. But this will get us over 1,700 pounds, which is way beyond my expectations. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Over 1,700 pounds? We're out of weights, dude. Now for reference, I know this thing weighs about 70 pounds, so we'll be approaching 1,800 pounds once I put this on here. What do we gotta do to break this thing, man? I'm gonna jump on there. We gotta break it, man. Oh my God. This is ridiculous. You wanna get on it? Ready? Ready. I, I don't know what else to put on here. This thing is way stronger than I thought. So right now there's 997 kilograms on this scale. And the problem is I severely underestimated the strength of that part, which means I only got a thousand kilogram crane scale. So if we add any more weight to this, we're gonna break the crane scale before we break the part. So I guess what I'm saying is, I don't think we're gonna break this part today. So that just goes to show, if you design your part properly and you use continuous fiber and you print in the right orientation, you can have incredibly strong 3D printed parts from a desktop 3D printer. Now these parts can get you close to the strength of aluminum. That's mind blowing. Everyone thinks 3D printed parts are weak, 
but this shows you that they're not. And for reference, this part weighs a tenth of a pound, but it held almost 2,200 pounds and it didn't even break, which means it can hold more. That means that this technology can provide huge benefits in areas where you want things as lightweight as possible, but also where strength is an absolute must. Gosh dang it! Oh, whoa! Hey. We broke something. I think the pallet broke. Part two, pallets zero. Yeah, there it is. Where do the weights go? I mean, I guess it's cardio day. <laughs>